Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another Java GUI tutorial, and in this tutorial we're going to learn about how to have another window pop up inside of your program. And uh, this window is going to be a help window, so when I click file help, or help, it's going to, a new window inside of our main frame is going to pop up. Uh, yeah, you'll see. It's pretty cool. This is what you're going to use when you need to pop up a new window to like give directions or have input or something like that. So, anyways, I'm going to construct a menu first. I'm not going to talk much. Excuse me. I'm not going to talk much through the menu constructing part because that's review. And if you watch my tutorials, you should know what I'm doing. So, anyways, I'm going to shut up now and start uh, coding. <clears throat> All right. So now make your event handling class or declare it. And the reason why I'm making so many mistakes typing is because it's pretty late and I'm about to go to bed after this because yeah I can't not type when I'm tired so that's why I'm like fumbling around so much on the keys. But whatever. <laughs> Ugh. All right. So. <coughs> Add an action listener to the about um, item. So e, perfect. All right. Now make your event handling class. All right. And this is the new part of the. This <coughs> yeah, whatever. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. This is the new part, so go whatever your um other window class is called, mine's called help window. Whatever you named it, that's what you're gonna type in. So like normally when we make a GUI, we do like whatever this class is called, so like main window. But now we're gonna do whatever this one's called, so we're gonna do help window. So we're gonna do help window and then call it uh whatever you want, I call it GUI, and then it's gonna be equal to a new help window and now instead of having empty parameters something's actually going s gonna go inside these parameters for once and it's gonna be main or I mean not main it's gonna be yeah main window dot this and it's gonna give us an error because we haven't actually constructed this yet but anyways what this does it just makes um it, it's gonna allow us to when we click the about thing a new window is gonna pop up and that new window is going to be from the help window class. So now, gotta do GUI and then set the default close operation. And it's not gonna let me um like normally this NetBeans IDE lets me I can like click the dot thing and it'll like come up with all the other things. But now I actually have to type it in because it gives me an error here. But ugh, that's right. So. See operation, and now we're gonna do instead of our exit and close. That we wouldn't want that because it would shut down the whole program. We just want to hide on close like that, and then we want to set the size. Do 300, 100. Uh, I'm gonna set the location, which I normally don't do, but it's kind of nice because then it will kind of pop up right where our program is currently dragged to, and then set visible. Alright, so it's giving me all these errors, but that's alright. Now, make the main method, and I'm just going to kind of copy this, go a little faster. Alright, and change this, which is main window, let's give me a main 
window and no parameters alright uh, right, delete that, 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 that. alright um, now we want it to exit on close because this is our main window um, no location and we'll give it a title Window. I might as well give this one a title also. So. Alright. Now, done with this class. Go to your um, help class. And now, something entirely new. Instead of extending J frame, we're going to extend J dialog. And basically, a J dialog is a box that pops up. Um, it's in your program, and it allows you to, like type stuff in, like maybe input a couple numbers, text, or something like that. It's just like a little box that pops up, and we're extending that so we can implement all the things from J dialog. So uh, I'm thinking I'm just gonna have like a label just so you can see like what. Uh, yeah. And then normally, yeah, just do your constructor. And now we need a couple parameters. Let's put in J frame frame so it can have a J frame in there. And then proceed as normal, except further right here. You gotta do super, and that's referring to the super class J dialog. And then frame. Don't really worry about this, but just do it anyways. And then name of the window. Shit, I forget. Uh, yeah, this don't need a title here. So, uh, name of the window and true. Yeah, you don't really need to know what that does, just do it. <clears throat> just make sure whatever you called your JFrame object, you do that true and whatever you want your title to be. Alright, and then set the layout. Yeah, let's do a nice flow layout, because it's easy. And why do I always forget the capital L? Alright, and just make it label equal to something. Ugh. I'm tired, this is a help menu. Make sure you spell menu wrong and add the label. Uh, Alright. Alright. And that's it. You don't need anything else. So save. Go back to here. Forgot to put a new. And I forgot to put a new. Alright, perfect. So, yeah, I'm just going to run this thing. Here it is. Help, about. And what, what do you know? A new window pops up. It says, I'm tired, this is a help menu. Men. So you, if you wanted, you can edit this and see like what your program does. And look, we can't close the main window because our J dialog box is open. So this J dialog box takes priority over this, and we cannot interact with the main window until we close this. Then we can interact with this. But when this is open, this is the only window that is um, able to be dragged and manipulated, you know, resized. Um, yeah, I'm not going to mess around too much because my uh, stupid screen recording software has a habit of uh, lagging my computer up totally freezing it, ca causing me to reboot it, and that's why I don't like to interact with the programs I make too much on screen, because it's just a hassle. Now I lose my whole video too, so. Anyways. So. Um, just review. This is the only thing that's different right here. Instead of doing this class, you just do the class that you want to show up, and that's our help window, and then you give it, um, parameters of the class you're in dot this and then you want you want it to hide on close because if I put X on close first of all it's not going to compile and second of all it's going to like totally jack up your program so alright anyways I'm running low on time so uh yeah thanks for watching and hope to see you again